Hello all, my name is Rahman and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new section in machine learning with Python tutorial series. So guys, in this section, I am going to talk about the deep learning with the neural networks, TensorFlow, how to download that and other lot of stuff. So guys, in this from this video to the end of this series, I am going to talk about the neural networks, like what are they. I am also going to talk about the TensorFlow and other lot of stuff. So guys, up to this point, we have been talking about a lot of algorithms like support vector machine, also talked about the k-means, k-mean shift, k nearest neighbors, regression, linear regression, how to do the training and testing in the regression. We also talked about the clustering and other lot of algorithms. But guys, up to this point, we didn't talk about the neural network. So guys, neural network is one of the most popular algorithms in the machine learning. So guys, from this, in this video, I am just going to give the introduction to the neural networks like what are they, how they work and why they are used and other lot of stuff. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. First of all guys, we have a question that what is neural network in machine learning? A neural network is a method in artificial intelligence that makes the teachers computers to process the data in a way that it is inspired by the human brain. It's a type of machine learning process called the deep learning. The uses interconnected nodes or neurons in a layer sector that resembles the human brain. Right now guys, neural network is similar to our human brain. Like for example, right now I am recording this video and I am talking about the what is neural network and all those stuff. So guys, what's happening is right now in our brain is that, I am saying that, what is neural network? So I am sending message from my brain to my mouth that, say this one, like what is neural network? So what I am, whatever I am saying here is, so the message is coming from the neurons, so message is coming from the brain through the neurons and the nerve system on my body, right? Now guys, this is what the machine learning, this is what the neural network and machine learning. Before learning about neural network, first of all, we need to understand what is neural. So guys, with the word neural network up to this point, not in the series, but from many people you have been, I think you have listened about the neural network, like how they are think, but guys, in this video, as I said, I am going to, I am going to give the introduction to the neural network. I am going to talk about those things detailly, right? Now, guys, first of all, before learning about neural networks and those things, I am going to talk about what is a neuron. What is the theory of the neural network? Before learning about the neural network in the machine learning, let's learn learn about what is neuron in the neural networks in a simple terms. So, guys, a neural network works similarly to the human brains. Neural network, a neuron is a neural network, is a machine function that collects and classifies the information according to a specified, specific architecture. Now guys, this concept is a lot of confusing, but guys, I am going to explain these things in a clear way. So guys, we know the what is neuron in a neural network, but first of all, in the neural, before learning about what is a neuron in neural network, we need to learn about what are neurons. Generally, so guys, neurons, also called as neurons or nerve cells, are the fundamental units of our brain and the nervous system on our body. The cells responsible for receiving the sensory input from the external world, for sending motor commands to our muscles, and for transforming and relaying the electrical signals at every step in between. Now, guys, these are our neurons. Like as I said before. What I am recording, whatever I am recording right now is coming from my brain and the brain is sending messages through the, through my nerve system to my neural network system in, on my body. Now guys, I am going to show you like how it's going to, what is a neuron in a, by explaining on the board. So guys, let's start that one. Okay. So first of all guys, I am going to clear all of this stuff here. Okay. Now guys, let's say that, sorry. So guys, let's say that I have my, I have a brain. Something like, let's say, this is my brain, I am, okay? Now guys, this is my mouth, so this is my hands, nose, whatever it is, like the body parts, let's give it as this one. Now guys, what I am saying is, to my body parts that, let's say that this is my hand, okay? So I am saying to my hand that, move the cursor from here to here, okay? So guys, what I have to do is, I have to move here the cursor, but guys, how do I move it? So I should get a message that move your cursor from here, from the from my brain. I am thinking that, right? So guys, the message comes from my brain 
to my body parts that to my hand that move the mouse move the cursor cursor right we have this one now i am i am saying that from my brain to my body parts I am saying that do this change. It's sending the messages through the neurons. These are this is my nerves. These are my nerves. So I am saying that move. I am saying I am giving the information from my brain and I am passing through the nerve system of my body to the body parts of all of my body. Okay, so guys, this is yeah, I have just given you an example of this one. Now, guys, let's talk about the. We have talked about what is a neural network, right? Now, guys, let's talk about what is neural neuron in a neural network. As I said you before, a layer consists of small individual units called the neurons on our body. Now, a neuron is a neural network can be better understood with the help of the biological neurons. So, guys, from that time, I am not going. I was not talking about the neurons. I was talking about the neurons, but not the computer neurons. I was talking about the biological neurons that that is uh, in our body. Okay, an artificial neuron is similar to a biological neuron. So, guys, there are two types of neurons. First of all, there are two types of neurons. The first one is the biological neuron, which is in our body, and the second is artificial neuron, which is in the computer. Now, guys, let's talk about what is a neuron in machine learning. We have talked about the what is neurons, neural networks, what are they, how they work, etc. But, guys, we also we didn't talk about what is a neuron in the machine learning. What is its use? A neural network is a method in artificial intelligence that teaches the computers to process the data in a way that is inspired by the human brain. It's a type of machine learning process called the deep learning, as I said before, that uses interconnected nodes to ne or neurons in a layered structure that resembles the human brain. How now, guys? You have a question that how do neuron works in our in in the machine learning? Neuron is a deep learning models are nodes through which the data are computations flow. Neurons work like they receive one or more input signals. These input signals can come from either the raw data set or from the neurons position at a previous layer of the neural network. So guys, I am going to show you with an example after some time. But guys, let's talk about this one. But guys, there is theory of the neural network like neural networks are formed by the connecting one neuron to every other neuron like for example if i show you like let's say this is a neuron okay and then guys this is also a neuron right so as i said you neural networks is formed by connecting one neuron to a, a very another neuron so guys let's call it as n1 and this is n2 let's call it as this one or let's give something like this n1 n1 and this is n2 now guys i have to pass here the information right through the neural of my nerve system right so guys first of all for doing the stuff i have to connect my neurons for connecting i send from here to here so guys these two neurons are connected and like that only we have the n neuron 3 neuron 4 and i have the neuron 5 okay so guys this one two and this is also connected this is also connected and these are also connected now guys what happens is it's going to it's formed here a neural network so guys this is what the neural networks are in machine learning this is just a simple example now guys we have another question from the time i was talking about the deep learning also so guys what is deep learning right so guys we have a question that what is deep learning in the machine learning so guys deep learning is a part of a broader family of a machine learning methods based on the artificial neural networks with representation learning so guys as i said before not in this video but previous videos there are a lot of learnings in the machine learning learnings can be supervised semi supervised or unsupervised okay now guys so this question is clear here right now we have a question that what are the uses of neural network in machine learning why we use the neural networks right let's say that why we let's say that we have a question what are the uses of neural networks in our body right so guys neurons and neurons are used to form the neural network in our body for transforming the messages from one place to another okay so guys that's why we use here the neural network in our body like for example if i want to eat something 
then my brain sends the message to my hand that pick up this thing and then eat this then it sends the information to my eye that see that thing and then it sends to my hand that take this thing let's say that I have a banana so pick up the banana the, my mind sends that okay and then what happens is when I pick up that one then it gives me the information to peel that and then it gives the information to my mouth to eat that with my teeth. So guys, this is what the use of neuro, neural networks in our body. But guys, what are the uses of neural networks in the machine learning? In machine learning also, it's used for uh, passing the information, passing through the information like it's used in a lot of applications like, for example, artificial neural network, ANN, it's used in facial recognition, stock market prediction, social media, defense, healthcare, signature verification, handwriting analysis, and it's used also in the defense and other lot of stuff. So guys, this is not this question is not that important. Now, guys, as I said, you what are the you, we have a question that how neural networks works in machine learning. A neural network is a method artificial intelligence that teaches the computer to process the data in a way such a way that it is inspired by the human brain. It's, it works like a human brain. It's a type of machine learning process called the deep learning that uses inter interconnected nodes or neurons in a layered structure that is resembles the brain, human brain. So guys, I have talked about this thing right up to this lot of times. Now I have also talked about what is neural network in machine learning. Now guys, in this video, as I said, you am also going to talk about the tensor flow in the machine learning. I am not going to talk about the, that detail, but just guys, I am just going to give friends it and then after that, how neural networks works, I am going to explain you with an example. So, TensorFlow is an end-to-end -end open source platform for machine learning. TensorFlow is a rich system for managing all aspects of the machine learning system. However, this class focuses on using a particular TensorFlow API to develop the train, develop and train the machine learning models. What is, as I said, you what are the what is the tensor flow? Now we have a question that well, how it works. Let's re talk about it. Tensor flow allows the developers to create the data flow graph structures that describe how data moves to a graph or a series of processing nodes. Each node in the graph represents a mathematical operation, and each connection or edge between nodes is a multi dimensional data array, or it's also known as. The tensor. Now we have another question, last question, and that is: Is TensorFlow a machine learning model? Right? TensorFlow is an end-to-end -end open source platform for machine learning, as I said you. And TensorFlow make it makes it easier for beginners and experts to create the learning models. So now, guys, let's talk about the let's talk about the neural networks, like how they work, how they are connected, and other of stuff with an example. Now, so guys, let's take an example of a laptop. Let's say that we have a laptop, which is something like this. And guys, for the laptop, we have a, this is, this is the laptop, let's say. And then we have some of the keys like this. Let's say that these are the keys. Okay. Now guys, for building the laptop, we need some of the machines, we need some of the people, and we need some of the stuff for doing, creating this stuff, and we need some of the computers, right? So guys, for creating this, for building this laptop, we need some of the persons as I said you. So guys, let's name the persons as the A. So this is the person A who is, this is the person A, this one, let's call it this one. And this is the person B who has something like this, this one. And this is the person C who has something like this. Okay. And this is the person D, sorry. This is the person D who has something like this okay now guys let's say we have all of these persons now guys each person builds each thing like for example this person a is what it does is it's going to build here the cameras right so let's give it as the cam cameras okay and this what this person do is this person b is it's going to create here the keys 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 and the c person is going to build here the software and we have other things to do in the laptop right so guys it's going to create here this screen, build here this screen, screen, and then guys, what this, uh, what this D does is, it's going to build here the software, okay, so builds, or uh, let's give it as the, now guys, 
all of these persons do one thing, right? Now what we have to do is we have we need two persons. Yeah, all of these persons will build things. But guys, let's say we have a we have other lot of things like there are fans in the laptop, GPU, CPU, and other lot of stuff, right? So let's remove the software and give it as the CPU. Okay, now we have these things, but these are the things. Let's ignore them and let's focus on these things. We have these things. Let's imagine that we are we are going to get only these things in the laptop. Okay, now we have all of these persons build these things. Like let's say this person builds the, the camera, this person keys, the screen, and this one person CPU. Now we have to assemble these things. Like we have to assemble the screen and with the cameras, we have to assemble here the keys and the CPU. Right? What it does is we need here the two persons for doing this one. Let's call it as this one. So what it does is what this person one do is let's A B C D. Right? Let's give as the B C D E E and it's going to give something like this. And guys, what this person do is it's going to fit here the cameras, not cameras and the screen. Let's give cam ras. Plus screen, screen. Okay, and the person C and the D is going to fit here. And the person B and the D is going to fit here. The keys with the CPU. Okay, so let's give it as A B C D E F F. And the C person is going to B and keys plus the CPU. Okay, let's say this one. Or guys, I think I have done here mistake. Or instead of the CPU, what if I what if I use here the the touchpad? Touchpad. Okay, here also same thing. We should be confused with this thing, right? So let's just again touchpad. Okay, now guys, the keys plus touchpad. These two persons are going to build. Now guys. They they built two things, but guys, what they have to do is they assemble these things, and then guys, what we need to do is we need to assemble this keys plus this pad is going to be feel something like so we have to assemble again the cameras, the screens, and we have to assemble the keys and the test pad. So this F and E are going to assemble these things, but guys, we have to assemble. Okay, now E and F cameras plus screen and then key plus that. So guys, I am going to call them as E. E plus F, right? So guys, we have to build these things. But guys, for building, for assembling these things, we need one more person, and it's known as the G. Okay, G is a person. Let's say this person is going to build yet these things like cameras, a screen, is and the touchpad. The laptop is then going to be assembled something like this. Okay, so you know, guys, these are the keys, and this is the small camera. This is a touchpad. Let's say so, guys. I have just drawn here the simple graph. So now, not graph, just drawn here, just a small piece of art. So anyhow, guys. Now this laptop is assembled, but guys, like that only these neurons are also going to work. So guys, this is known as the input, 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 and these are going to known as hidden, hidden layers. Layers one and this is hidden. Hidden layers. Layers two. So guys, this is hidden. This is sorry. This is the one and this is the one and these are the inputs. Okay, and guys, this is the output. This laptop that we have created output. Okay, so guys, this is how the neural network works here. But guys, if I show you with an another example, like okay, so now guys, all of them is clear right now. Now let's say that we have the x one, x one, x two, and this is x three. Okay, we have this versions. Now guys, let's draw here some of the circles. One, two, three, four. Let's give here the four. Okay, now guys, we have these circles. What this X is going to do is it's going to pass it the information. Then it's going to come here, okay? And then it's going to pass like this. Then this X two is going to give the information to this, 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 and this. And the same thing for the X three. It's going to give here, 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 and here, like this. Now, guys, let's draw another thing. These are the circles again. Let's draw here the three circles. One circle, 
two circle and then this is three circles. Okay, now we have this one. What this is going to do is it's going to pass here the information to this, this, and it's going to give you this one. And then this is also same thing. This is going to give. This is also going to give. Sorry, it's going. To, these are mixed. Let's get something like this. Sorry, it's going to give here, here three places. And then this is for the same thing. It's going to pass here and here. And this is also going to give here, here and here. So guys, all of these lines are mixed there. We are, we are, we are being a little bit confused. So guys, these are the three and these are the four. Now the output is going to come here right now, and that is going to be three things. Two, three, something like this. So, guys, what's going to happen is then it's going to pass it the information again here, here, and again here, and the last one is here, right? So, guys, this is how the information is passed. But, guys, this is the little bit confusing. But, guys, this is known as this is known as sorry, the, the circle that you are seeing here is known as the input that you are passing input, put, and then, guys, this is known as the Hidden layer, hidden layer one, and then guys, this is going to known as this one, something like this, and guys, this is going to be known as the hidden layer two, and guys, this is the final output that we are going to get output. So guys, this is the final output. So guys, in this case, it's going to be one, two, or three. It could be zero, zero, one. So guys, it could be anything. I'm going to talk about these things later on. So guys, this is how the neural networks are going to work like hidden layer 1. This is hidden layer 2 and this is the output, the final output. And this is the input that you are giving. So guys, if you remember, sometime before just now, I have given you an example of four persons who is going to build a laptop. So guys, what happens is, each of them are building these things like each one is building here the software, the CPU, and each one is building all of the stuff. But guys, if I bring here, like, let's draw again them. So guys, let's see here on the screen. Now we have this person, input A. Now input A is going to build here the cameras. But guys, instead of input A, if I give them, if I give him a, here this keys, then guys, it's going to see that these are the keys. So I can't build this one. So I want here the cameras only. So like that. So guys, each one of them is expert in building each of these things. Like input A is, the A is building, expert in building here the cameras. This is going to build the keys. So guys, the A can find out the lot of cameras. Like it's going to find out. It's by seeing that it's it, this is a 4K camera, 180P camera. So guys, this can fit according to the laptop. And then guys, so it's going to create here the build here the cameras. Then this has this is going to build here a lot of keys. This is going to build here a screen. This is going to touch pad. Now what this do this is it's going to see that which camera to choose for the screen. Okay, which camera to choose for a screen. Then these two persons will discuss here, and then this key and this test pad. He sees that the F1 sees that which one is going to match. So th these two matches, and then guys, these two bits. Then what is what these two persons are going to do is what this G is going to do is it's going to build here a laptop. So guys, the final output that we are going to get is this one, the laptop that we are going to get. So guys, as I said, you this is how the neural networks are going to work here right now. So anyway guys, that's all for this video. I hope you like this video of the new networks and machine learning. And in the next video, I am going to talk about other, a lot of things like TensorFlow. I will talk, try to download that in the next video. So thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.